Oopsie, Yellowstone has just produced a new feature and nobody noticed it. That happens quite often in this area, like hydrothermal explosions, phreatic eruptions that they miss. The last ones, they caught them on camera. They were quite substantial. Now they have more sensors in the area, but still new thermal pool in the Norris Geyser Basin and it caught them by surprise. That is within the Yellowstone Caldera, by the way. And the history of its formation is now unraveled, but they discovered it by coincidence. Geologists were performing some equipment maintenance at the measuring stations that they have placed all over the caldera and also in the Norris Geyser Basin on, on April 10th this year. And then they stumbled about, upon this quite obvious but previously unknown pool with this crystal clear blue water. And this is a particularly active part where this pool has formed in the porcelain basin, that's how it's called. And it's approximately four meters wide. It's a light blue pool and it's basically west of Vegetation Island that is also known as Tree Island that's also a feature in this area and the water is not super super hot but hot enough it's 43 degrees Celsius that's 110 degrees Fahrenheit and it stands about 30 centimeters that's 12 inches below the rim that is a clear indication of hydrothermal activity and the USGS has published a report about this. So they let us know what they think has happened there. What is the formation history of this hot spring? So they have looked at all the available data that they had from the area and satellite images, various sensors, and the results were quite surprising, or let's say the scientists were quite astonished when they kind of the picture was revealed to them. This new geothermal pool, this new manifestation must have formed around last year's Christmas, around the Christmas season of 2024. So they haven't noticed this for quite a while. That is quite surprising. So in the winter, um, the Yellowstone National Park has typically a lot of snow. And of course, the remote areas especially these geothermal areas are inaccessible in the winter. So, okay, uh, but it seems they don't fly over it or they haven't noticed it through satellite pictures. So it took a little bit more than four months to discover this pool in the spring. The origin of this newly discovered pool, they narrowed it down by using infrasound data and satellite images and as of December 19th, 2024, the site remains unremarkable. But then a depression appeared on January 6th this year, 2025. And then it has further developed so that when they were looking at the satellite pictures, approximately by the mid-February, the vent was fully developed and visible. And also, and that's also interesting, it was sending an acoustic signal, like a, a weak acoustic signal from the region was recorded on December 25th, 2024. So was there some phreatic explosion or something that made this signal? It could be. So what they think is that noise that they have recorded, that this was apparently the moment when the phenomenon began to form with a not super strong, they think a weak, hydrothermal eruption and then there seemed to be more of them because then they found more weak signals in January and February but all of that did not show any seismic activity so it probably wasn't super strong that's probably why they didn't notice it the seismometers didn't show them any indication and because of that because they have several points where they thought there was an explosion. They think that this new thermal spring um, is a result of several explosive events, not just one, like, poof, it's there. 
So several smaller explosions that have displaced rock and quartz mud over short distances. And then hot water subsequently collected in this pool, in this pit. So this is a subtle sign, but a visible sign, guys, of the constant activity beneath the surface of this supervolcano, Yellowstone, the mighty caldera of Yellowstone. And uh, <laughs> some say that this could be perhaps a Yellowstone Christmas miracle. There's no concerns that this is any sign that the eruption might be near. So calm down. But be aware, if you go to this area, if you walk these trails and these wooden trails, I wouldn't do this. I'd stay away from these geysers and mud pools because they can catch you by surprise. Has happened twice now within a one year's time frame. And they can be super, super dangerous as we've seen in other areas. I have just reported about one in Central America. The video is quite scary how people are running away. Santa Teresa, you should really watch this. This time nobody was hurt, but the last time it was a devastating event. So this was first for the first time captured on CT on surveillance camera. So click the link in the description if you want to see that, guys. So this Norris Gazer Basin, where this new pool has formed, is a culprit. It's considered the hottest and the most dynamic thermal area of the whole Yellowstone National Park. And it's quite common that we see changes occurring here quite on a regular basis we see new steam vents coming up and then multiple colors and discoloration of the ground and these explosive events and especially in 2018 guys there was a series of events where it was really very very noticeable how active this area is so they called it a phase of increased unrest in 2018 a series of seismic events and increased releases of hot steam occurred. So quite active. Many people were worried, what does that mean? So at this time, the world's largest geyser, Steamboat, that's the name, the Steamboat Geyser, the name basically tells what it is, also became more active and began erupting basically every few days. So a lot of people were concerned, but since then, the interval between eruptions has significantly increased. So the last eruption occurred April 14th, 2025, after a 96 day hiatus in this thing. But st so statistically, an eruption would even be due in the next few days. So it remains interesting what's going on in Yellowstone, guys. Stay tuned. If you want to support the channel, guys, go to the links in the description and buy me a coffee on my Buy Me A Coffee site. I will answer with a 30 second video message and uh, you can video message me back, guys. And uh, if you want to click the join button, you can become a supporting member of the channel. So shout out to all my new members and shout out to all my existing members for sticking with me and to my monthly supporters on the coffee site and for everyone who buys me coffee to keep me going because the volcanoes, the earthquakes, everything keeps me quite busy. Spain, crazy. You should really subscribe and check out my playlists and or go to my start page, look at all the videos and then binge watch it it's really i think it's interesting and of course a small selection is here in the end screen so thanks for watching guys and i hope to see you soon bye bye